Okay, in this scene, we're going to talk about Kawasaki disease, also known as mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome. So this is an autoimmune disease in which medium-sized blood vessels become inflamed. And there's a famous mnemonic out there, which I'm going to build on. This mnemonic is crash and burn on a Kawasaki. So Kawasaki is a type of motorcycle company. And so crash and burn on a Kawasaki. And the reason why we have these two little Asian kids over here on top is to help us remember that it often occurs in Asian children, specifically below the ages of four years old. So you can imagine these guys are three years old. But anyway, crash and burn on a Kawasaki. Crash, C for conjunctivitis is often a presentation. R for rash, there's a polymorphous, which leads to desquamation in which there's skin peeling off the hands and, and feet. A for adenopathy, cervical adenopathy. S for strawberry tongue. And we note that this kid here has a strawberry tongue. H for hand foot changes, including edema and erythema. The patient will present with pain and redness, hence the pain and redness in the feet over there, as well as fever. Fever can last for more than five days, and that's why he has this thermometer over here. Burn is going to remind us of the inflammation, and Kawasaki for Kawasaki. It's important to remember that patients may develop coronary artery aneurysms. And that's why we see over here that this coronary artery aneurysm over here. This can lead to a thrombosis or rupture, which can cause death. Treatment. So here we have this motorcycle about to go into the aspirin, just to help us remember the aspirin, which is often used in treatment of Kawasaki disease, one of the rare occasions when aspirin is given to kids, as well as the syringe to remind us of the IV immunoglobulins. If not corticosteroids, IV immunoglobulins are given in order to neutralize the immunoglobulins, which are attacking the vessels. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on Kawasaki disease. Take care.